So in this quick video, I'm just going to show you how you can, or the best ways of sending your projects to other people. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this, um, but there's two that work really well. So the first off, we're just going to open up the project that we want, and then before I send it, I just want to make sure it works. So I'm just going to open it up in the emulator. And as you can see, this project here is just a basic countdown timer. So when the timer reaches zero, an action will happen. But I'm struggling to get my action to happen. So what I want to do is I want to send this to a colleague who can have a look at that for me. The best way to do that, or the easiest way to do that, is to send it as a template file. So if you go File, Export as Template. As you can see, there's a couple of things I can change here. I've already given it a display name. Um, I just want to add a brief description. I'm not too worried about the detailed description on this occasion. Um, and when I'm happy with that, I can just click export. So this will prompt you to save it in a location. We just give it a name. As soon as it's saved, that file will then be okay to send to your friend who can then, or your colleague who can import that. So from their perspective, when they've received your file, they need to open up the Design Studio software. Open up the template tab. As you can see, they're presented with the standard system templates but we're interested in our own. So we click on user template, right click, import the project template and select the file. So this way is probably the easiest and the quickest way because you don't have to worry about every or each file individually. You can just send them your whole project. So now that's part of our templates, we can just double click it, open as a new project and it's all there ready to work on. So the second option is probably more ideal if you want to send it via email. Um, so click on your file path and you go into the folder that contains all of your images and your actual project. But if we click back one, just so that we can get the over the, the complete folder and right click on that again, and then we want to zip this up. So send to compressed file and give it a name. So by zipping it up, you make the file as small as you can be or you compress it. Um, and that also ensures that you don't lose any of your images, um, you've still got your preview and then of course you've still got your project and this is okay to send by email and then you just open it up as a normal project. 